Hi everybody, this is Rob McCoy, the Mayor of Thousand Oaks, and today with me on TO Talks is Wyatt McRae, the president of the McRae Ranch Foundation. Wyatt, I want to know the history of this place because this ranch has a unique history. Uh, one in particular, I understand, in the Conejo Valley, the oldest standing building is on this ranch. Uh, there's a lot to be shared, and I also want to tour the place, so tell me the history and then take me on a walk. My grandfather bought the ranch in the spring of 1933. He started building the house in the summer of 1933, and then he got married in the fall of 1933, so that was a big year for it. For those of you that don't know, my grandfather was Joel McRae, uh, actor, rancher, philanthropist, uh, settled out here in, in the early 30s in the, in the Canal Valley area. Was married to my grandmother, Frances D. was her stage name, also uh, an actress. Raised her family here, both she and my grandfather together. Originally, the ranch was 2,400 acres at its height. Avenida de los Arbeles was the, it, roughly the southern boundary and then it bordered Wood Ranch and Lang Ranch on the east side and then went over the hill here to Reed Road was the northern boundary. Uh, primarily what he did was raise cattle and, and farm uh, dry land crops, uh, oats and, and winter wheat, that sort of thing. So in addition to the main house here, Rob, that was built in 1933, there are several other buildings on the ranch. Uh, the bunkhouse, which was built in 1890, uh, which is the oldest building, I think, still standing in Thousand Oaks, yeah. was the original homesteader's home, which people can tour now as a part of our tea and Tours. It's in good shape and they can walk through. We actually just spent uh, uh, six figures re restoring the, the bunkhouse, so it's uh, it's freshly remodeled and ready for people to tour. The main barn and the lower barn my grandfather built in, in 1937, those two buildings were built, and then the milk house built about the same time. And while we don't have cows to milk anymore, we have uh, we have an interesting fake cow that people can come and try their hand at milking. I'll get to do that today, hopefully. Yeah, you, you can do that. People can also see the shop area where the forge is, where they used to make parts for, for farm implements and horseshoes for the horses, all that sort of thing. So there's several buildings here on the ranch. I, I gotta tell you, Wyatt, one of the things that, that has really blessed me uh, about you and about this ranch is it, it set the tone for the development of the city in such a way that we appreciate open space. And I think your grandpa had a lot to do with that, and so have you and your dad and your whole family. And I just want to say thank you for that. Well, we appreciate that, Rob. It, it was it was something that was very important to us. Uh, you know, my grandfather gave 75 acres originally to Casca, uh, which was done on a handshake with Tex Ward, who was then the general manager of the of Caneo Rec and Park District. And, you know, he always felt like it was important to set aside some of that open space for future generations to see. And then and, and then later on when we were starting to uh, deal with some estate issues and that sort of thing, it just made sense to donate what was left of the ranch uh, uh, to the park district because we already had that relationship. And, and it turned out it was an integral part of the ring of open space around Thousand Oaks. Absolutely. And, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's a great resource really for the community. Can you just share kind of what takes place at the ranch uh, in, a, in a given month so the folks can see what, what we do here? It's uh, in, in, in 2011, I started the McRae Ranch Foundation, uh, which its main goal is to, to rehabilitate and restore and, and keep the building standing and, and uh, have something to share with the community. But as a part of our uh, association with Caneo Rec and Park District, both the foundation in conjunction with the Park District, we put together uh, events throughout the year. In the summer months, uh, we do uh, outdoor movies. I've got a big 20-foot blow-up screen, and we'll show some of my grandparents' movies outside. Uh, we do tea and tours in the fall. Um, this summer, the first Sundays of June, July, and August, we will have open houses that will be open for people to stop by and, and just visit the ranch. Well, folks, you got to come check this out at the McRae Ranch. Uh, this is this is an absolute gem in the Conejo. And Wyatt, thank you for preserving it and all the folks who've worked so hard to keep this bit of history alive. And I would encourage you to come out. And thank you for joining us on another TO Talks with Wyatt McRae. Thank you, Rob. <laughs>